for this there's many opinions. Should I do it cold or warm? I've done it every time like this and I'm still alive so I will do it cold. This car, it's actually my first car with TPMS sensors for the tire pressure. I think it's, it came mandatory 2012 for new cars in EU at least. Now it's also a good time to check everything. Brake pads are not in so good condition. I think there is about two millimeters. I already have new ones actually. Springs are good, not broken. Everything seems to be fine here. Now obviously I have to program these uh, sensors to this car. I have something like this that was under 10 euros from Amazon. Battery was more expensive than this machine. Test. Next I will turn the power on. I won't start the car. Then I will find this tire pressure part. It should be here car here and then I will press this button here are you sure that you want to relearn yes tire learning active and then we can find this light indicator light Next one here. And the next one here. And the last one. And it's done. Pretty even. I'm happy about that. So far so good. No vibrations. Car is going straight. Everything seems to be fine. I also couldn't find any, any problems when I checked everything. Only thing, uh, brake pads are not in very good condition. That's going to be the next service what I'm going to do to this car. That was actually pretty easy job to do. Only thing what you need is something like this. This I bought from Amazon, that was very cheap, I think one of the cheapest ones, under 10 euros. I will put the link to this description of this video. My tire pressure now is in eco mode, 270 kilopascals. If this feels too hard, I can always change that, but so far it feels much more softer, nicer, more quiet and my uh, summer tires, obviously 18 inch, 17 inch, there is a difference, yeah. Thanks for watching this video and see you guys next time.